Hello everyone, this is Chris from bewegendearchitektur.com Today with another tutorial, it's going to be about branching in Blender But furthermore, this is going to be a let's get started with scripting in Blender So first of all, scripting is an extremely powerful tool to, uh, to enhance your architectural modeling skills, uh, not only by automating multiple steps that you have to do, but uh, also uh, in a way that you are able to create completely new shapes that you have not been able to uh, create with uh, uh, conventional ways before. So in this tutorial, I want to show you my first steps I have made in scripting a few years ago in uh, Blender. And let's get started by uh, selecting a camera and lamp and delete them. Uh, we're going to switch to the scripting uh, mode of Blender. And let's focus on the 3D viewport and uh, a text editor for now. First of all, we're going to create new. Uh, we're going to click new in order to create a new text file. We can uh, change its name in order to find it. Uh, if we do have a high amount of, of scripts in our scene and we want to write import ppy into the first line. So this is necessary in merely every Python script in Blender because this is telling Blender to import Blender Python. Um, so let's go further. Uh, I have been, and, and this was really uh, one of the happiest moments I have uh, I have uh, made in, in uh, I had in Blender. Uh, it is when I found out about this history tool of Python functions. Maybe this is obvious, but uh, in the in the previous versions, this has been hidden up here and. Uh, when I first saw this, uh, it was really uh, amazing for me because what you can see here is a history of all Blender functions called uh, during the startup of the file. For example, if we're switching to the edit mode, then you immediately can see um, OPS object edit mode toggle, which means we have switched into the edit mode. So maybe this is obvious for you. I have been very happy when I found out about this because it allows us to extremely uh, to, to, to access uh, the scripting um, uh, uh, possibilities in Blender in an extremely fast way. So I started out with Python in, in Maya and there it is extremely complicated. So at least in my opinion and here in Blender this is an extremely nice way to access um, the functionality of Python. So uh, let's make two simple steps. Uh, first of all, we're going to switch to the face select mode. We're going to select um, a single face and we want to make two steps or two tasks. The first task is a subdivision. So we're going to edge subdivide. Uh, we're going to uh, set the fractal parameter to a higher amount in order to make uh, the subdivision random. And in the second step, we want to extrude individual faces. So we want to extrude the faces that we have created right now. So simply drag the mouse uh, to move the new faces along uh, the normals. And let's check it out. Let's check out what happened here. So don't be confused. We do have uh, a lot of spam from this subdivide function. This is because we have uh, moved the slider in order to change this fractal factor. So please don't be confused or maybe you don't use the slider when, when you try to, to script in this way. But uh, this subdivide function here believe me is the first task that we have done and this mesh extrude faces is the second task we have done so we want to select them both uh, as usually with shift and uh, left mouse button 
we want to control c in order to copy them to the clipboard and we want to press control v or uh, context menu in order to paste them to the text editor so we can save our file at this uh, uh, moment and uh, now as you can imagine but for me every time again magic is happening because we if we click run script then blender is working on its own and uh, what is happening here so blender is importing blender python it's going to subdivide it's going to extrude exactly in the order of uh, uh, the lines in so exactly in this order we have put it uh, the functions into the lines of course um, this is uh, this can even be uh, made better so if we create a new uh, cube uh, we move it a little bit to the right side on the X axis we're going to select the face again and let's assume we want to tell uh, Python that it should make those steps on its own without uh, forcing us to click five times so how can we do this we are going to write for E in range 5 so this is a simple loop uh, which is going to repeat everything that is intended beneath it so um, in python if you're coming from c++ for example in python it is extremely important to take care of the intention so for e in range 5 is going to iterate through all the functions that are intended below it for example if you're going to delete the tab stop here and if we uh, uh, you know, we don't have to press enter we can even leave it like this but in this way the loop is going to iterate over the first subdivide so it's going to run this subdivide um, function five times and then going to exit from the loop in order to run the mesh extrude but if we're going to intent also the mesh extrude it is going to run subdivide extrude for five times and then it is going to exit the loop so let's check this out we're going to run script and as you can imagine the same thing uh, like before is happening but with one click only okay so uh, we want to take a look on another uh, really important uh, thing in uh, scripting of course uh, it is uh, about no not of course but it's going to be about variables so here we have um, set one variable so we have set a lot of variables but uh, this one we have set um, uh, with uh, a specific idea in mind uh, uh, it is about the randomization of the uh, subdivide in order to make this uh, even visible so if you put the fractal to zero then of course it is only extruding uh, it is making the same but it is not visible because everything is extruded along um, uh, the normal of the first uh, uh, phase so it's simply going to be a um, uh, a cubus right so um, this factor uh, we want to uh, change and we want to manipulate in order to to change the appearance of our shape right so we can set a variable and I'm going to call it fractal factor so you can take every every name you you want to use as a placeholder here and I want to write fractal uh, equals 3 for example and of course what we are able to do here is we can use this fractal factor as a variable in our uh, script uh, this is handy in a lot of ways because first of all we can uh, use this as a placeholder so if the fractal factor is appearing multiple times we can uh, 
change it once and it is going to change everywhere and in the second um, uh, the second advantage of course is that we are able to work with the fractal factor for example we can say that the fractal factor should increase every time we're running the loop so we can say fractal factor equals fractal factor plus uh, 0.5 for example we're going to start out with an extremely small fractal factor for example uh, 1.2 I don't know and if we're running the script again I'm not sure if we're going to see this but the fractal factor is going to increase every time we are running uh, this loop okay so this has been uh, the tutorial for today please let us know if you uh, enjoyed it and if you want to have more scripting tutorials in uh, Python and uh, if you want to uh, show us what you have done with uh, these uh, uh, tutorials then just share your results in uh, the comments below and see you next time at bewegenderarchitektur.com